my God. Half man, half amazing. I don't know what his motivation was besides seeing if he can move his little chess pieces any way he wanted to. And you haven't eaten for 36 hours. You appreciate, like, smells. You appreciate <laughs> yeah. noises. You appreciate <laughs> things that you never do, realized I before. And, I, and it, you know, if anyone else was interested in doing it, I would I'll definitely it. be talking about it. It's a cleansing experience. I'll do it. I'll do cool. It. Okay. Right, the I told everyone that I created the fast for spiritual cleansing, which was total BS. It puts me in a position of power, and if people are wondering what I think, then I have some ability to control them. Initiating the fast allowed me to be a puppeteer i kind of look over the stage and i and i play the marionettes and they follow uh, whatever i say for me it makes sense to keep me around because i'm so hated that <laughs> it only you know what i mean at any time i could go out here's the deal if i don't nominate you will you give me amnesty when you become the head of the household certainly will you okay I promise you that i made a deal with the devil i.e kent well the beauty of having me in this house is that i'm the biggest liar in the house maybe the biggest liar in california and let's go on a limb here possibly the biggest liar in america certainly at this point um as far as strategy is concerned i'm trying to include myself in every game and activity without being the person who wins them because i want to be a participant but not like the superstar i think this is a strong core three here you know what i mean i would say i would say so i like you will <laughs> yes we've made a deal with the devil <laughs> Approximately a week, two weeks ago, I thought that there would be a civil war among the smokers. That clearly has happened. And you have to ask yourself, can anyone take pleasure in watching groups of people get angry at each other and tear each other apart verbally, psychologically, and emotionally? I can, and I sit there and do it every day. Krista said that her, Hardy, and Monica have had an unspoken pact. Hardy and Monica and her sit down, take the cards, and flip one over as to who's leaving. And that's how they vote without talking about it. That's why she's been looking at those cards all day. Right. But the more extravagant lie you tell, the the more people believe it. Why do you think she's looking at those cards alone? You think she's playing solitaire with 12 cards? I throw out about 100 to 150 lies a day, and maybe two or three stick. I really made it up, and my favorite part about it is everyone believes it. Pretty good, right? I think the difference between everyone else in the house and myself is that um, I have claimed to be dishonest and evil and backstabbing from the beginning and they're all now realizing that that's what they are. Krista says she's not here for the wrong reasons. Well, everyone's here for the wrong reasons or you wouldn't be here. I know everyone in this house is evil. I'm just the only one who can admit it. When I was crying on the basketball court, I went over to talk to Monica to make sure that she saw me crying because I really don't want them um, perceiving me as someone who's strong um, for fear of being nominated and ousted. I'm going to continue to um, pretend to be very quiet and uh, weak. The good thing is that now there's no one left in the house that I like, so um, we can start anew and let the games begin. If Bunky gets uh, some sort of um, affirmation to any question he asks, he goes like this, Thank you! Which is really annoying. It's really, really annoying. Um, but I don't want to get voted out, so I'm just smile and I just let him do whatever he wants. The winner is in Frank. Thank you! <laughs> we'll keep you here for another week. All right. Or we'll keep you here, whatever. I've promised um, Hardy and Nicole that I wouldn't nominate them both. I clearly would nominate them both. I would stab them both in the back and lead them to bleed, you know, on the kitchen floor, and I wouldn't even clean it up. And if I did, I'd use a dirty towel and leave it on the bathroom floor. You know, I really try to teach everyone the deep, dark, dankest dungeon that I call my own heart. You don't shake your head. That's what I'm just trying to explain. And uh, they just won't pay attention. I tell them right to their face, I'm going to stab you in the back. I'm going to lie to you. That's what I've been doing. I'm going to continue to do it. I feel as though I need to be the forefront of people's thoughts at the all the time. And for me, it's easier to be at the forefront of their thoughts as a bad person than as a good person. It would be very easy for me to come in here and say that I have to win this head of household to compete. But losing head of household competitions can be very advantageous. Um, when Boogie came in second to Kent, Boogie was voted out that week. When Shannon came in second to Hardy, Shannon was voted out that week. Time and time again, it's been shown that if you do pretty well at the HOH competitions but don't win, you get ousted. Whereas if you lose them very quickly, such as the things that Monica and I have done, then you stay for a while. To me, this HOH is not all that important. Um, I came here to have fun. I did that. I came here to stay a long time. I did that. After Hardy evicted Shannon, I promised Shannon that I would avenge her. I did that. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm the big winner. There's nothing left for me to do except try to get a little bit of money. If that happens, it happens. If it doesn't, everything worked out for the best for me. Congratulations, Will. By a vote of five to do, you are the winner of Big Brother 2. Let's go. Congratulations, Will. Awesome game. Great game, baby. Great game. Do you think it's easy being this good looking? 
it is easy. I want to get back in there because I have a big ego, and I want to mix things up and make everyone realize that there's nobody safe. Great game, baby. Great game. Who's the best Big Brother player in history? I don't see Michael Jordan walking around telling people what a great basketball player he is. I think we all know the answer to that question. My plan right now, if I last three weeks, I'm going to pull the mask off. People aren't going to like what they see. Looks going to look like flesh on the outside. You rip it open and it's just circuitry and wires. They don't even know what's going to hit them. Dr. Will, you are safe. You're gonna pick Danielle and Allison over me? I should be nominated. This is infuriating to me. I'm not happy with Jace at all, and I'm gonna do whatever I can to show him that I'm a threat. Anyone who does not nominate me has a serious problem, and um, I take it personally when I'm not nominated. We have the most unique thing in here is that there's no other pairs. When you win, I win. What makes Will and I stronger than the S6 Alliance is that we play with no fear. We're gonna end up running things in this house. It's just a matter of time. The thing is, they have such good odds. They have four chances every time. I wanna make people worried about Big Brother 6. I think what I'll do is I'll plant some seeds, let them grow. Nourish them, water them, grow these seeds. Build up this anger and this hostility towards season six so that this group can jump on them and attack them. Because if you don't really wanna go home this week, then I have the reservations about putting you up because the entire house <laughs> could get rid of you. I was nominated four times on Big Brother 2. I couldn't care less. I think the fact that I enjoy being nominated makes me one of the most feared players here. And it was easy for me to motivate and find individuals that I disliked, and it gave me power. It gave me a reason to want to play. It gave me a reason to want to fight. It gave me a reason to want to remove people from the game. Then I thought, so why haven't I had that motivation? And I thought it was because I really liked everyone here. But then I realized, it was the opposite of that. I can't find an individual to hate because I hate you all. Bring, bring. Hello. Hey, Boogie. Yeah, what up, Dude, man? get this. You're not going to believe it. What? Big Brother All-Stars. I go in front of the entire house guest group and I say, I hate you all. No one voted even against me. Everyone voted against Jace. <laughs> I went up to Howie before the game and I said, Howie, let's make a deal. You and I won't eliminate each other. We won't make each other eat slop in this game. And Howie said, perfect. I didn't care if I ate slop or not. I just wanted to test Howie. Really? People forget to see the big picture here. This is a game based on trust. I gave Howie a little test to see what he was going to do. I was the person Howie chose to eat slop. What does that show me? I don't care if I have to eat slop. It shows me I can't trust Howie. I'm bored. I think I'm going to walk around. I'm out! Did you fall, dude? Did you fall? I'm bored. Listen, money can't buy you love. But money can buy you stuff. And I love stuff! I put up 40 points because I wanted the 5,000 bucks. The truth is, I kind of wanted Janelle to win, because if she takes herself off the block, well, she'll probably go after Danielle now, leaving me safe for another week. Chilltown is the Beatles of this show. I'm the Paul McCartney. Mike Boogie is the John Lennon. Unfortunately, Erica is still the Yoko Ono. She's been in this band entirely too long, and she's going to ruin our career if we're not careful about it. You don't think James and Danielle will come after you and Boogie? Of course they will. That's why we need you. <laughs> It'll be a bloodbath if you need my help. Yeah, that's um, cool, I, don't. That's cool. Really yeah, that's no fine. longer feel obligated to you because you did backstab me. I didn't backstab you. I stabbed you in the front. Boop, boop. Bring. Hello. Hey, Boogie. What up, man? Do you remember a few weeks back when I got my showmance to put up her very best friend, Marcellus, and then we evicted him? Yeah. Could I bother you to do that this week with your showmance? Just get her to put up her best friend, Danielle? Sure, no problem. Cool. I really feel like this summer I've made a lot of mistakes in the house, and um, after tonight I'm done making mistakes. And for Marcellus and Howie, I vote to evict you, Will. Sorry. Okay. It's official, Will. You have been evicted from the Big Brother oh All Star House. God. Thanks so much for watching Reality Pop, your new hub for all things reality. If you're enjoying this content, please let us know by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below, and, of course, subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And be sure to hit that notification bell along the way. Thanks!